Hi there and welcome to the review of the Panther HD Media Center. It's a HD media player which I purchased from mymemory.co.uk for £20 and also included a 16GB no, no brand memory pen, even though it does say the Panther 16GB Elite USB flash drive on the packaging. We'll be having a look at that later on when we get to the playback. As for the device itself, well, it plays photo, movie and music files on any TV. It's got support for the higher definition files such as uh, MPEG-124 and H.264 so that's going to be useful as I'll be able to watch HD files on my TV. That's not a very common feature with some of these uh, media cheaper media centers. So let's have a look at the actual device. We'll open it up. So as you can see it's quite small about the size of two credit cards I suppose and it's also got buttons on the front in case you lose the remote as you can see there's a very lengthy IR receiver there and we also have the USB port on the side and a handy feature is also the SD card slot for full sized SD cards and that's very tidy actually if you were to put one in there the device itself looks very very tidy on the back the on off button, component output and AV output and also the DC port for the actual power. So all in all it looks very nifty and very tidy. I like the feature of the, the SD port, the SD card slot rather. Uh, it seems to fit very nicely but we'll have a look at that later. Let's see what we have under here. Okay so we have the DC power supply. Nothing much to say there. 5 volt actual AV cables themselves and the remote, I especially like the design of this remote, it's not like your classic uh, cheap Chinese remote it's actually one of the protruding buttons so that's going to be a nice feature and also if you lose it then there's buttons on the front of the actual device itself um, as for the manual, not a lot there, English and Chinese so you can probably guess where this originally came from I'd imagine it is a cheap Chinese model. So, we'll have a look at the playback now. As for the actual playback itself, well, we're going to test out the movie section, which will play video files, and you can select, I don't know if you can see it there, USB, and the latest episode of Breaking Bad. Wow. That's quite good quality. You mightn't see it as good as I can, but it's quite good quality for a uh, burnt out old Sony CRT TV. It plays quite flawlessly. That's good to know. Pictures, and just a sample picture from Windows. Wow, that's quite impressive actually. It's also worth noting I'm using the 16 gigabyte pen that actually came with the device. That's quite impressive. And music. I'm going to throw on some Tony Bennett here to test. Oh, there we are. Even a graphic equalizer and everything. And the bit rate is also displayed. And that's it. Basically, uh, we've got the settings here. Language. I presume you can change it. I'm not going to just in case I can't get get it back to the actual language. Shows the size of the memory pen. Uh, so 16 gigabytes, but 14.49. Uh, free and the actual total size is 14.82 so a little under advertised there as to be expected you can set everything back to the factory default change between output PAL or NTSC and the version I suppose if there's any updates ketone can be put on and off that's the NTSC and PAL um, that's all basically there is. Overall, a great device, to be quite honest, especially for £20. I mean, you could go onto dx.com and spend maybe twice that for the same kind of device with less features. The ability to play HD files is definitely a bonus, and along with the nice looking remote that has protruding buttons, not the um, circular style ones, you know the ones I'm on about. Um, that's pretty much it. So if you're definitely if you're gonna buy it, it's a, it's a steal of twenty pounds, really. 
and the offer for the 16 gigabit pen is actually expired but even so this is well worth the purchase.